Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Bethesda Sousa. Bethesda Sousa. We're going to Bethesda. Bethesda Sousa. All right. Um, let me just do a checklist in my head real quick. You need grenades. You have them. Got them. You need guns. Got them. You do need one thing we don't have. Uh, we want might want to modify a couple of things to have be woolly. Can we do that? Maybe. Let's uh let's do your boots. You're gonna want to do the things that are like the cheapest. So it's gonna be like your boots, your gloves. Um. We could maybe mod one of your, like, your four-corned helm to be woolly and then use that instead. Or, uh, I guess you can't do your bonnet. Too expensive. I can make my Yushu no longer. Yeah, it'd be better to make it reinforced, I think. Like, okay. that's, that's a better use of those bits. For sure. Plus one AV is just really nice. Can, oh. uh, Michelle yeah. can be. We're missing. Bully. We're missing some pristine. We need some pristine. Uh oh. What's up? Is that four? I think I thought it was four. Do you have a four bit? My precinct navigator. No. Well. No. Well. My well. gun. No. What about check your grenades? I wonder if there's a, a highly valuable grenade we could disassemble. I know it sucks, but no four bit, huh? Okay. Hmm. Energy cell. Nope. Um. We're starting on a high note here. What could we... We could try and buy it, I suppose. No. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Let's, can we let's buy it here? consider some other things first. We can try. I mean, you can go to your schematic seller and see if they have any. They probably won't. It's a... It's a... It's up there in value. That's not the lad, but... What's he got? He can share a dram. Oh, he does have some stuff. Have a look at that painted short bow. I feel like we have already. No, it's going to be new. He's probably renewed his goods a couple of times. No. Weren't new. Weren't new. I, I was wrong. The Okay, well, yeah, this guy doesn't have anything. Wow. Well. I don't think we have any new Reshef lore. Alright. Does he have anything? Uh, nope. That's a big no. Okay. Um, decision time. I guess you could disassemble the precinct navigator if you want. If we could learn how to make it, it'd be kind of nice, but I, I think it's probably too complex. You could... I could make my wings woolly. There we go. We're really, we're really getting the most out of those wings. <laughs> go for it. Oh, wait, you need a spiral bore. Oh, crap. Oh, you can't make it yet. Not smart enough. Uh... Yeah, that was one thing we did want, was we wanted a spiral borer. It's fine. Like, it's okay. We don't necessarily need to spiral borer. Spiral borer really is a, a is a cheese. Um, like, it's it's how you cheese Bethesda Sousa. And we don't necessarily want to do that on your first playthrough. But yeah, let's... Um, I, lo I love to cheese, but okay. That's fair. Uh, we could disassemble the precinct navigator. What was that going to give us again? I don't know. I don't even remember. I don't know. I don't know. I like that Look. thing a lot. Yeah. 
we'll find more interesting things. Yeah. But we're not using it. We should use it. <laughs> I, I I did say we should probably use it, like equip it okay, right away. Well, let's re let's replace the cell. Yeah. I think you can get away with a solar cell on that one. Because whenever we're moving around, we're going to be moving on the map. And we would, it would uh, just hard replace the compass bracelet. Uh, let's see if we can make our boots and gauntlets woolly. I forgot we made our gauntlets six fingered. Okay, we need more pure We're out alloy. of alloy. It's a it's a difficult one to get. It's somehow it ends up being a quite a rare bit. The slip ring's got three in it. Yeah, let's go ahead and disassemble that. We don't need it anymore. Do we want the oil? Nah. We've got enough. See, it pours all over you. Mm. Ashi. We're all oily now. I don't care for that. It's fine. Mod with tinkering. Wooly. All righty. Uh, next, let's look at our chain gauntlets. Well, they're oily. They are oily. Because you disassembled an oily... Well, I wanted to put the oil away. You said, "Don't worry about it." I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I uh, hold strong to that. We need another it pristine needs... electronic, <laughs> which we don't have. We've we've exhausted that. Unless we disassemble our spoke scoped carbine, and I I don't necessarily recommend that we do. Make up your mind. Either the scope is the best or it's not. It's it's a very hard choice. Sniper rifle or master work scoped carbide. And they're both good. Like it's a very much. If we a don't make a decision, thing. get in the comments. Let us know. <laughs> you could uh it's a weird one. I've never done it, but you could disassemble never mind, I'm thinking of the um alloy, not the uh yeah, we don't really have anything. Okay, I mean, we've got two things that are woolly, right? Should be okay. I might, might be, might be okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm just looking. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I don't... We'll, we'll chance it. I mean, I, I don't hold out a lot of hope that this is going to go super well, but you surprised, Should me I? With, you surprised me with Golgotha. What's up? Should I make the banana recipe and learn all those grenades? Sure. All right. Stone the oven. oven. I like how you left a little oil drab. A dribble drab. A dribble. Um, it's gonna be quite down there. I think it's alphabetical, actually. We could set it to favorite. What? Huh? Huh? Is it hidden? Do we not have the ingredients for it? Uh, do, 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 do. What's the other ingredient? I don't know. It was just bananas, I thought. Unless we have a banana that isn't preserved. I thought we... No. Did we not make it at all? Oh, we may have not used tur turned it into a recipe. We might have just cooked with it. That makes sense. You use two to make it a recipe? No, you just need one. We can just we can just cook with it. We don't need to cook from a recipe. One sun-dried 
banana. Heck yeah. All right. Um, so we defoliant grenade, right? That's mostly what we're doing. There's a, a, a bunch of grenades. Right. Freeze grenades. Those are actually quite good. Uh, we could take the opportunity to learn how to make a nuclear cell real quick. I think that's it for grenades, actually. I also thought there was another one, but I think that that's it. Hmm? Uh, we're ba, 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 ba. gonna wanna, we'll have to pull the nuclear cell. Oh yeah, the combustion cell. Uh, we'll have to pull the nuclear cell out of your melee weapon in order to examine it. Unfortunately, requires a bit of juggling. I don't know. Nuclear. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. Can we uh, imbibe in our sniper rifle? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I think probably not. Also, the precinct navigator, maybe. Oh, nice. We can make one. We could uh, maybe down the line, we could, just, you know, if we need the, that four bit. We've learned how to make sniper rifles. OK, so it's it's on uh, it's on the table. Clear. Yeah. There you go. Now, that is a good one. Making anything a nuclear else, cell else. is quite good. Uh, I don't know. Missile weapons? We could try and learn That'd the be. carbine. I think it's too... Oh, you're good. Oh. Cool. Um... Can I sell it with a reckless abandon now? Or will it just never be masterwork? And therefore... Yeah, it's a scope... We can't make a scope... Uh, masterwork one we'd have to like make a carbine and then modify it so it's still quite valuable um are there any tonics we don't know how to make about the skulk nope nope think so. okay we're good okay um i think we're good like if we want we it to enough, be we have enough woolly Yes. I, it's it, it, we can always use more, but I I think we'll be fine. I I don't know. Um, one thing we could do is check to see if there's any chefs in the stilt, but I think I think we've probably uh, delayed long enough. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's leave. Where's Bethesda? Oh, you're close. You're warm. You're warm. There. Right there, huh? There it is. All right. Good luck. This will be a multi-part uh, thing. It'll probably take us a good three to four episodes to get to the bottom Bethesda of this one. Bethesda Susa. Any reason not to look around? Uh, you can do it. It's, um, there's no novice of the sightless way here, probably. He says, hoping. There's our first Kragmensch. Stop me. First Kragmensch. That's that fella. Okay. Yep. He's bad. He is bad. He's tough. He's a tough lad, and he's, he's got a rock. I'll tell you what. He's got a big old rock. Hmm. Hit it for one damage. You're probably close enough you could charge him. I am close enough to charge him. Smack him with reckless abandon. Smack, 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 smack. Stun lock, stun lock, stun lock, stun lock. Oh, he saved against it. Stun lock, stun lock, stun lock. <laughs> smack, smack, smack. Knocked prone. Wow. He's prone. Remain stunned. Smack, smack. They're tough. I'll tell you what. They're, uh... These guys are... Possibly one of the toughest things you've faced yet. Now he's a croissant. 
He is a giant croissant. That is okay. the uh, boulder that he was wielding. Nothing else. Nothing else. They do not drop anything useful. They are, however, worth 500 XP each. So. Well, let's get another one. And there's uh, a lot of them. We're going to be doing this. Ooh, uh -oh. yeah, there is another one heading its way over to you. It's okay. You should be able to take a couple blows from them before uh, things get too spicy. Also, they're kind of bad shots. Oh, you know what? We forgot to put the nuclear cell back in your uh, weapon. Mm. You're, you're not doing very much damage right now because of that. I do this. Am I gonna get? No, you're, you're, it'll it'll cost you a turn, but I think it's worth it. You're gonna have to do it from your equipment. You're right. Yeah. Doop 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 doop. Uh, you know what though? I don't know when this happened, but your primary hand is your right hand, so you have not been using your carbide folding hammer this entire time. I don't know when that happened, and I don't know why. So if you want to use it, you're going to have to remove this and then equip it in your right hand. I would just say use tab to set your primary hand to being your left hand, but it won't let you in combat. Okay. The good news... <laughs> here's the good news. There's a couple of good takeaways here. Uh, one, fists are cudgels. Let's, mm. let's just really take a moment to appreciate that. Fists are cudgels. That is the only reason you managed to kill a Kragmensch with your bare hands. Because you were still able to stun lock them with your bare hands, right? Despite doing very little damage. Um, Where'd he go? There he is. Also, you survived two Kragmensch or a Kragmensch and a half with out your main weapon and that's pretty great i think that's uh oh, that's a real content you can charge him heck yeah wow oh, these guys are chumps when you're actually using a weapon when you're actually using your weapon that you've modified and uh set up properly yeah uh. Uh, yep. Nice. And, yep. <laughs> you lost sight of them immediately. I'm pretty sure that means they're unmarked now. Oh, oh God. a blue one. There's a whole bunch of them. This one's blue. He is blue. He's a luminary. Go for him. <laughs> I think you missed, but you hit the other Kragmensch. It's pretty good. There they are. Uh, uh. So he had um, Stunning Force. That's what makes him Luminary. However, he has spent it now, and it's a very high cooldown, so he should be well and truly spent for quite a long time you should be good to go to town a thousand xp oh my god the yellow bear it's a bark is he a honey biter. bear it's a bark biter mm. they're uh they're quite a bit more fierce than a regular bear i'm pretty sure there's a legendary bear around the corner because there's two slumberlings and a bark biter, and that generally means that there's... Okay. What is happening here? That's a deep wow. slumberling. Mm. Mm hmm. This is, gotcha. uh... This is quite the spicy tile you've got here. I'm gonna run away for a bit. Not a bad idea. Just, uh... What's that guy? He's okay. He's a mechanist. 
Okay. He'll About. be friendly to you. As long as you don't hit him. There we go. Okay. I honestly have no idea whether or not you can take on a deep slumberling. They are something I have rarely encountered myself. You probably, uh... Oh, you, you took him out. Nice. Yeah, um... I'm very curious as to what is going on over here. There's definitely a legendary something. There's no question in my mind. Pretty sure that Mechanimus is just picking a fight with the Slumberling, maybe? No, he, he seems to be chill. Rip that. Oh, I killed the blue fella. I don't know what happened to the bark biter. That bear killed him. Or that Mechanimus killed him. He was the bear. Uh... We can explore. As long as we don't hit one of those slumberlings, we should be okay. I wonder if there was a legendary bear, but I got killed by a Kragmensch. Oh, oh, oh. The one you're right next to is actually legendary. It's not colored correctly, but it is legendary. Hated by the villagers of Samur Moor. Ah, disliked by the Hindernabay Law. I should get this guy. Yeah. Very tough. You so can probably, am I. You can stun lock him, probably. Yeah. I, go for it. I mean, it's a legendary slumberling, so it's going to be tough. You, you can't charge him from here. I guess you could walk away and charge him if you wanted to. I can and I do. This could go one of two ways. You do have the power of stun lock, so you could just get get away with this scot free. But uh, apparently, this this has awakened the other bear, and um. But that mechanist might help. Uh, not enough. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Uh, I might say try one more attack and see how that fares. And then if you're not good, then maybe run away. Yeah. I'd say fly, actually, yeah. You just fly out of this tile. Mm, yep. Yep. You can actually go right back in just when you uh when it asks you where ask the the starting location instead of like your current location like center there you go now you can rest up they'll probably fall back asleep and you don't have to mess with them and we know that you probably can't take that legendary slumberling you might be able to if you could like deal with some of its friends you uh oh, you, you were you were still flying i was resting while flying you were resting while flying that's pretty good it's an interesting oh, now it's uh, blood honey blood honey are you are you going back to pick some more fights yeah oh interesting oh you, that's the uh, legendary again hmm Whoa. He's right there. He knows charge too. You can try conking him. Oof. He's a tough bear. He's a really tough bear. And he seems to be able to hold fine. against your stun. Seems to be fine. Okay, you have him in a stun lock. Oh, okay, you yeah, you need to leave. You committed to, you need to leave. You're gonna die if you try and attack him again. <laughs> One more attack from him, like every time you attacked him, you were rolling the dice. So now the thing is is that 
If you're rest, resting, he is also resting, so he's going to be at full health. Can I take out his buds? You could, but I, he took you out on his own. So I, I don't know if you can do this right now, as you are. I just take his honey. You could just take his honey. He's probably sleeping. Yeah, yeah. I will say, I don't think I've ever encountered a legendary slumberling, so... He's asleep. Who's this guy? Just a, another slumberling. You probably want those, um... There's some dreadroot tubers you could grab. Now, the deep slumberling will probably rip you apart. You can still grab it, you just can't auto-grab it. He's still asleep. Alright. I'd say let's just head down. We can make a note of this. Wow, we haven't, we haven't even officially entered Bethesda Susa. We're already getting interesting encounters here. Okay, okay. First official floor of Bethesda Susa. So uh, right away, um, there's a little guy to your east. That one right there. You want to kill that as quickly as you can. It does not have a lot of health. Perfect. Cool. That's that's the first thing taken care of. Next, um, this is gonna we're probably gonna want to manipulate the staircase because there's just a lot of guys here and they're all descending on your location. Oh, you want? Oh, okay. Okay. Ow. You you bleeded bled a little bit there. Um we are hungry. We're not inspired, I suppose. We got a crag mensch. This'll be the easiest way to take care of them without too much threat to ourselves. Oh the boulders are oh, there's a, a boulder in the way. Yeah, you you can grab it. Um You'll want to like do a look on it and then take it and then throw it somewhere else or just place it on your current tile. That is a, a pain in the butt and it's going to happen a few times if we use the staircase. It'll be, I think, in uh, throwing weapons. I don't know. We don't have throwing weapons. Is it, it wasn't in miscellaneous? Oh, there it is. 500 pounds. Good God. Fun fact, you can actually throw them despite the fact that they're ridiculously heavy and they are actually an amazing weapon, but uh, they're not viable. Oh, there's another cloneling. Um, you did kill it. That's good. That is fantastic. You're probably enemies to that quillipede now because of your electrified. We still have charge. I think you'll be fine. We can charge down that last Kragmensch. Well, we charged the boulders instead. It's not just a rock. It's a boulder. All right. Well, this is, uh, this is good. You're doing well, actually. I, this gives me hope. We do have uh, a couple of bosses that I'm a little bit worried for. Or about. 
but um you know it should be okay actually you have night vision don't you i do so one of the biggest threats is actually kind of taken care of already i'm not going to spoil it though the sniper rifle will prove very useful against one of the threats um yeah it's it's gonna be interesting bethesda susa is like i'd say it's like one of the th of like three major dungeons in cud it's it's one of the most dense he's just he's just kind of sitting there and taking it you're hitting him you're just not penning him Is he, like, sleeping? Like, what's his deal? Do they not like water? I guess not. I guess he seems to be not great about or cool with uh, crossing that river. <laughs> Just sniping him across this small river. Oh, he's come to meet you. As soon as you cross the river, he's like, okay. What's happening? I'm waiting for him. Okay. That makes sense. He's dead. All right. Why don't we make a... Me oh, I really wish we were inspired, actually. Kind of hoping that maybe on the end of this floor will be inspired but we'd, we'd have to kill like probably 10 more no actually more like um 20 more cragmench in order to level up oh god that's look at that i can't we're back i cannot believe how many of these guys you're encountering now they're not a sightless us not they're not a novice so they don't maybe they don't have no um sundermind but at the same time, it's just like, how many are we going to encounter? You are dazed. I'm not sure why. Oh, you marked yourself also. Okay. They're cool. I don't, I don't want to electrify him though. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Um... You should or accidentally it. shoot him. Uh, you have a better chance of not shooting him than you do of not electrocuting him. You should be good now. He's far enough away. There you go. I think that uh, Disciple of the Sightless Way died. Good for him. I think they got splatted. Also, I don't think you're on bad terms with that slime, just so you know. They're, uh, they're a convalescence slime. And they tend to be okay. Okay. We have a chest. Ooh, sp uh, fix it spray foam. Nice. Good stuff. I can learn. I can't learn that anymore. I don't think you can make fix it spray foam. But you don't know for sure. Well, this is a good floor. We're definitely, when we've cleared out this floor, we're going to end the episode there because the next one is the really interesting one. It's the first, like, truly, like, uh, that's some dramatic stuff right there. It's also the first floor where you get the really cool Bethesda Sousa music. Ooh, what was that? Chrome revolver and a human corpse. All right, that seems to be basically it. Oh, more stuff. An engraved steel dagger. <laughs> Here we go. We're done. All right. Um, I don't know. Thoughts? There are a lot of things happened this episode. Uh, I 
want to kill that guy. I want to kill that bear. He took his honey, so like that's probably fine. You do seem to have a hate on for bears in this series. It's it's kind of funny. Well, they hang out with the other guys. We might, even though we're not inspired, want to cook a meal with. Um... Actually, how... do you have any skill points right now? Yes. Let's uh, let's do a thing. That's the wrong button. I. You want me to learn? Spicer, yeah. Spicer, I'm sorry, that's cheap. And then um, we're gonna cook a meal, but before we do, um, make a campsite, and we're gonna preserve exotic goods. We're gonna preserve just one uh, skulk injector. Oh wow, you have a tart beard, Glenn. When did that happen? That's that actually... time I killed a tart beard. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a skull injector, just the one. Those are quite good as injectors, and so uh, like to keep at least one. And then here's what I'm gonna recommend: is we're gonna um, choose ingredients to cook with. We're gonna do a congealed hulk honey, a congealed skulk, and some salt. It's a risk. It might not pay off, but if it does, it'll pay off very well. Can use intimidate mm. plus four agility. I mean, uh, it's okay. It was all right. Um, we, we're getting unlucky with those Hulk honey. The Hulk honey, um, congealed Hulk honey has a chance to give us plus four strength. So there was a chance we could have gotten plus four strength, plus four agil agility. It would have been a very powerful meal. Um, but yeah, let's, before you go down, to, oh, you went down. Too late. <laughs> well, you got the cool music now. We're going to end the episode. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content. Don't like even this. consider it. Just do it. And uh, maybe hit us with uh, some comments. I don't know what, what's... Uh, What's today's topic? Bethesda Sousa. Just say Bethesda Sousa. Yeah, just hit us with the Bethesda Sousa. Alright. Bye. Bye.